okay how to make an old printer wireless so I have a very old printer there it is it has a parallel connection and a USB connection and I want to get it on my Wi-Fi and make use of it so a couple things actually the only thing I really need is a print server now the print server in this case has a USB which is what I'll connect my printer to and Ethernet which I'll connect to my network and here's a wireless router it has four ports on the back now you can buy print servers that are already wireless there's different flavors it's just the one I happen to pick up and it was pretty cheap so I got an Ethernet cable that will connect the two and a USB cable that will connect the printer to the print server so if you open I open up this old printer you can see I actually have a parallel port down at the bottom that's that one right there and I have a USB that's right above it now they actually make parallel port print servers like I said there's a whole bunch of different uh, kind of print servers I decided to get a USB one so I'm gonna plug my USB cable to my printer and now I'm gonna plug the other end to my print server and take my Ethernet cable and then plug it into my wireless router now this really only works if they're in the same room or in the same vicinity um, but this is the general idea of what you want to do or you may have if you buy a wireless print server then you don't need to make the connection at all now in my case I decided I that you know since that wireless router is downstairs I have the printer upstairs I happen to have a wireless bridge with four ports so what that basically does is you allow it allows you to connect four devices and they essentially become wireless and since upstairs I have an Xbox and that type of stuff I'm gonna plug a few things so I go from my print server connect directly to my wireless bridge and then the wireless connection between uh, the bridge and the router will happen there so once I get everything plugged in and connected I just gotta follow the instructions for the bridge uh, in this case I gotta load up some software on my PC and then it just it steps me through the whole um, setup, and this is kind of the end pieces there. Was it? And um, I think I, I sent a, a test page, and then I opened up Notepad, wrote in "Hello World," and tried to print it. And the whole thing was pretty straightforward. Key thing was just to follow the directions. I tried skipping a few and had problems. And so I sent that to my printer. I walked upstairs, and voila! There we go. There's the some of the generic uh, uh, test pages and then there's my hello world so just a couple tips I mean the other thing is I advise to make sure your printer is set up first that was a very old printer sitting in a closet so actually the first thing I did uh, was to bring it downstairs connect it to my PC and make sure I had all the right drivers and I could actually print when it was directly connected so once I got that with the USB and it was directly connected and printing then I know it was good and and, and, it, and it was fine same thing with any new devices I would set them up make sure they work that bridge was already working in the house so I knew it worked and I hope that helps